I'm a climate scientist, and wherever I go, no matter who I'm talking to, I started to notice a few years ago that I was getting the same two questions again and again. What gives you hope? And how do I talk about this issue? So I wrote a book about it. Because these are the big questions. If we don't think there's any hope, then why are we even talking about this thing? And if we can't talk about it to the people who we care most about, who can we talk to? It turns out it really isn't that hard. If we begin by connecting over something that we already have in common rather than something we disagree on, something that we share, something that we love, a place that we both are from, an organization we're both part of, a hobby we both enjoy, a faith we have in common, we connect the dots to how climate change is affecting that thing that we both care about. But don't stop there. We have to offer positive, constructive solutions that each one of us can engage in. Because although climate change requires system-wide change, a system is made up of individuals. And the number one thing holding us back is that we don't think we can make a difference. But the reality is we can. The only way that the world has ever changed before is when individual people decided that it had to. So that's what my book is all about.